In the, the effort to help Afghan women, there was a great deal of optimism about what was possible and the idea that they might want to embrace uh, and that Afghanistan would want to embrace a, a, a rather um, Western view of what a good life was for a woman. And in fact, Afghanistan families, women, um, men are not at all necessarily ready for that kind of transition or, or want it in the form in which the West conceives of it. Isn't that the danger, though, for us in the West? We tend to think that, you know, that, that it's, it's going to be an easy adaptation, that you know, the transition is going to be smooth, but the reality is this is a culture that in many ways barely mentions women's rights, if at all. Well, I think that's that's true, and I also I also think that you know the West very much operates on an annual or or every two year budget schedule, and so um, they tend to think of programs in in those sort of chunks, and people don't change that quickly. This is a this is a country that was really isolated for a long period of time, both both during the civil war in the 90s, then again under the Taliban. Um, it was uh, had a period under Soviet under the Soviets when uh, before they the breakup of the Soviet Union and um, and all of those um, factors left it scarred in a variety of ways. And most of the country was rural. That is very isolated and very much living and people lived as they had for hundreds of years.